Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can download and combine a video and closed captions into a single video file with those closed captions burnt onto the video. This means that the MP4 you will produce will have the closed captions incorporated in the video file itself, so wherever you send this video, the recipient will be able to see the closed captions, irrespective of what platform they're playing it on. So to do this, we first need to download a video and download the associated closed captions. So I've logged into my media account and I've got a video on the screen which is our Medical Physiology BSc Offer Holder video. We have previously requested that Kaltura generate closed captions. What we need to be able to do is download these closed captions and then download the video. And then using another piece of software we will combine the two together. So first and foremost let's download the closed captions. To do this you click on the Actions underneath the video and choose Edit. Along the list of options you've got Captions and if you click on this you'll see that a English SRT file which is the standard closed captions file has been generated for this video. We have a series of actions we can perform editing them, deleting them and this one here which is Download. So I click on this and it downloads my closed captions. These closed captions are in the format of an SRT file which is an industry standard captions format and we'll look at that in a little bit more detail in a second. The second thing we need to be able to do is download the video. You may well have a copy of this video actually on your hard disk since you might well have created it using PowerPoint. But if you didn't do this and don't have access to it, for instance if you used Kaltura Capture to generate this video, you will need to enable it for downloading. Conveniently, next to the captions list is the downloads list. If you click on this, you can select which format of video you wish to allow to download. I have already selected the HD 1080 web version, and this is the format I want to download. But you could choose other formats, including Source, which is the original video file you might have uploaded. So for this purpose, I've already ticked on this. Once you've ticked on it, make sure you click on Save, and the Kaltura file will be ready now to download. In order to download the video, you need to return to the media, go to the download tab, which will have appeared now since you've enabled downloading, and then if you scroll down, you can select the file you wish to download. And now I'm downloading that file. It's best you disable downloads once you have completed your download. Otherwise, anybody visiting this file on My Media will also be able to download the file. We now have two files and I've moved them onto my desktop for convenience. We have our English.srt file, which is our closed captions, and we have our MP4, which is the video that we'd previously uploaded. If I double click on the English.srt file, I can have a quick look at this file. You'll note that the format of this file is slightly strange. It consists of a list of numbers, some time code, and then the closed captions. It doesn't matter. This is what we're going to use now in our other software to combine with our video. But sometimes it's nice just to have a look at the closed captions to make sure they look OK. At this point, you could also preview your video file just to make sure it's the right one. In order to combine the closed captions with the video, we're going to use the software Handbrake. At this point, I will assume you have watched the videos on Handbrake in my other tutorials. Once you have set up your preset, all you need to do is drag the video file to Handbrake, move to the Subtitles tab in the Edit window. From the drop-down list labelled Tracks, you choose Add External Subtitle Track and choose the English.srt file that you've recently downloaded. Now you have selected the English track, make sure the language selection is English and then you need to click the button that says Burnt In. 
This means the software handbrake will actually write the text within your captions file onto the video itself. Once you've got these settings correct and you are happy, simply click on the start button and handbrake will start to create a new video with your closed captions included. This process can take some time depending on the speed of your processor. Now that Handbrake has completed the rendering process, I have a new MP4 video on my desktop. This MP4 now contains the burnt in closed captions. If I click on this file and preview it on my screen, I can look through the file and you'll notice that the closed captions appear in the bottom of the screen where you'd expect to see them should they be appearing in real time on your video playback devices. The closed captions that were uploaded with the video file are now in the right place at the right time and correspond to the correct narration. This is a really useful way of getting closed captions burnt into videos from media that you have uploaded yourself onto Kaltura. Using the Kaltura auto-generated closed caption file, this means you can send this file to anybody and they'll be able to see the closed captions as they appear on the screen. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.